The devil is a liar. Jesus is a mighty God. We know that your presence is with us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are here. Moving in this place. Yes, you are moving in this place, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. You are here working in our name. I worship you. I worship you. You. Arranging destinies, I worship you. I worship you. That's why I call you a way maker, miracle where the promise keeps light in the darkness. That is who you are, a way maker, a miracle work, the promise key, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, you are the way maker, the promise keeper, the light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, you are the way maker, miracle way, the promise keeper, 
Mighty Redeemer, indeed, Lord, we love you. We thank you that you first loved us. We thank you for a moment that we can acknowledge that we love you. In all our shortcomings, we want to say to you, God, we love you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your nearness. Thank you for your word that is established. When two or three comes together in your name, you will be there. Thank you for helping. 
Thank you for leading. And thank you that thou art trustworthy. Take your honor this morning. Take your glory. And thank you for Calvary. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Redeemer. Greetings to one and all this morning. From where you are watching. We thank God. That he's the giver and the source of life. He's a trusted God. And may your heart cry out this day. Even in the circumstances that you might be in. I love the Lord. Father I thank you. That homes will be changed. And I thank you this day. That your presence brings and makes the difference. Even in our lives. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Redeemer. I want you to sing the song that says. I'm hiding in that rock. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I can call so as I do cry for fun. Just to wait I come to you, 
Jesus. I trust. I live Blessed be the name of the Lord, the rock of ages. This rock that cannot be moved. This rock that we are taking hiding. This rock that is a refuge. We honor him. He is the rock of ages. All may change. But the steadfast not love of the Lord will never cease us. We thank him for his name that is for us a covering. The name of God that is our battle. We can battle with the name of the Lord against any onslaught of the enemy. We thank him for his faithfulness. We thank him as we are gathering here today. And we declare that our God is a hiding place. The name of the Lord is for us a medicine. The name of the Lord is for us more than sufficient. We hide in that name. We take refuge in God. There is no one like him. He is from generation to generation. He is an anchor that won't let you down. When everybody is losing their grip in this life, the rock of ages that you are holding on will surely not be shaken. Our God is trustworthy. We exalt him. We magnify his name. We heal before him. We hallow his name. We stand on the king's highway because of this rock. We glorify Christ and we worship him. There is no one like you, Lord. Oh my God, our Savior, our refuge, our trust. Oh, you are our all in all. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, Father, we worship you. We adore you. We magnify your holy name. We cannot do without you. Thank you that you are present. Lord, if you are not present, our works will be in vain. We do the work of the Lord because of the Lord of the work. Be thy glorified Jehovah. You are the strength of every individual. You are our courage. And you are, oh God, the manna of heaven. Be thy glorified, be thy adored, and thank you, Lord, that we know that the weak shall be strong, that the sick will be healed. We exalt the King of glory, great I am. Oh God, you keep our feet strong. Our ankles will not, oh God, be feeble. Our, we will, our knees will not give in, but we stand on him that says, I will never leave you and nor forsake you. Father, we praise you this morning. We adore you. And Lord, we thank you with the heart of thanksgiving. We want to bless you for who you are and what you mean to us. In Jesus' mighty name, blessed be the name. Of the most high God. Our scripture reading this morning is in the book of First Chronicles 4 from verses 9 to 10. Blessed be his holy name. Thou art a faithful God. 
Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the Lord of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. The message this day, prayers can be answered. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to take you into this message. It's important to train yourself in prayer. That is why make prayer your lifestyle. In the beginning, it seems hard. But when you become consistent, you will realize when it sinks into your system that it will be easy to pray. And the Lord will guide you and lead you how to pray. Because every situation needs a different prayer. But our God knows how to help. And the Holy Spirit is there to guide you, to teach you, and to sustain you. Even in your prayer walk with God. When you are praying, you feel sometimes you don't want to pray because it seems as if the heavens are shut. Pray. That is the way he taught us. He was a prayer warrior himself. And in this day, I want you to know, when praying, you need to, to have, you need the knowledge of the word of God. So when you remind God of his word, he says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but not his word. And this morning, you got to know, there is a God that answers prayer. It doesn't matter where you might be in this world. God is an omnipotent God omnipresent God, omniscient God. He is where you want him to be in your life. Even if you are alone in your home, he is there. Nobody is so close to you than God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you know, when we are praying with the knowledge of God, the spirit of God will give us boldness. It will empower us. You pray with confidence. You understand there is somebody that is hearing and it is able to help you, to sustain you, to give you the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is why you need to be persistent in your petitions in prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jabez prayed. His situation led him to the word and prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. His name meant pain and sorrow. I don't know what your name is. But Jabez came to a point and he said, Lord, I am tired. Of facing the same situations on a daily basis. Nobody in this life is without a name. But the name of Jesus. Can bring a difference. An impartation in your life. This name. Is a name that can change things. The name of Jesus. The Bible says to us. He was born. In pain and in sorrow. Whenever his name was called. It reminds him. Of what his mother went through. And as a child. It pained him too. Just imagine. As you are growing. People are calling you by something. That is not pleasant. May the Lord help us. May the Lord have mercy on us. In whatever situation you might find yourself in. Don't 
embrace a name that will bring you to a place of pain. His name was unbearable for himself. It was as if he was insulted when people were calling his name Jabez. Sorrow and pain. He turned to God in prayer. He is the only hope in your hopeless situation. I don't know what has happened in your life. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know the situation that you were born in. But if it caused pain and sorrow, prayers can change things. It will be answered and I believe today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he turned to God. He turned to God in prayer. Jabez remembered that he was the Lord God of Jacob. That is why it's very important to know the word of God. You need to make the Bible your daily bread. He is the bread of life. And he can satisfy any request according to the powers that is at work within you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jacob's name was also a curse. It meant a deceiver, a cheater, a supplanter. In Genesis 32 verses 29. Jacob asked God to bless him. Jacob had a problem. Jabez had a problem. I don't know what problem you are having with your name. But the name of Jesus can bring transformation. In the name of Jesus. And God changed Jacob's name to Israel. Jabez was convinced God can also do it for him. That is why the word of God, there is a lot of promises. Take and stand on that promises. Meditate on it. Apply it in your life as you pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, Jabez asked God. He said, God, bless me. I know individuals we as individuals we need to be blessed we refuse to be cursed we refuse to have names that takes us nowhere we refuse to have situations that brings us into bondage bless me oh god that was the cry of jacob bless me oh god was the cry of jabez may you cry out unto god today bless me god i don't know how in what situation i was born in but i'm not gonna stay in that situation i'm gonna talk to god i'm gonna trust god i'm gonna call on the name of the lord God, that name that is able to erase every name that is upon your name that will take you nowhere. May the Lord answer your prayers as you ask God, bless me in Jesus' name. Jabez did not only ask God to bless him, he says, and enlarge my territory. Oh, you might stay and you might feel that you are going nowhere in life. But your territory to stay will be enlarged like Jake, like Jabez asked. He says, God, I refuse to live under a curse. I refuse to be sorrow and pain. And you get people sometimes that say, everything that is bad is happening in my life. Don't be content. Stand up today and start praying and say, God, I enlarge my territory. I'm coming out. I am the head and I'm not the tail. I'm standing on your word and your word is settled in heaven forever. That word that 
says, when you call, he will answer. May God answer you today in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, and God requests, and Jabez asks something else. And he says, let your hand be forever upon me. Oh, every hand that is upon your life, uh, that is not carrying a blessing, uh, let it wither today. Let that hand dry up uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, exchange it in prayer and ask God, Lord, uh, I pray this day, let your hand be upon my life. Uh, in other words, uh, let your presence go with me, even though people are mocking, even though people are teasing, even though people are pointing fingers, but I pray your hand, God, let it be upon my life in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, and God granted him what he requested from God. What are you asking from God this day? Let your situations take you to God in prayer. You might have a name after your pain. But today you are the only one that can bring a change by taking yourself to God. And says, Lord, this is a family name. But I want the Father from above to change my situations that my name can be a blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Many women give birth to children. You know, looking in this month of women. And they give birth and the father left them. The father left them. Oh, they are in pain. Whenever they look at their children, they gave their children names that cause pain. That pain must go. If you are a youngster or you can read or write, child, turn to the father that will never leave you and say, Father, Jesus Christ, the hope for the hopeless, I pray like Jabez, bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, let your hand be upon my life, you can bring a change, but God is waiting for you to pray. God answers prayer. He will break the limitations in your life. Your shortcomings will come to an end. He will meet your needs. He is the same God. The same God. He is the same God. He is able to answer your prayers as they. He is the same God. Ah, Jabez, look back into the life of Jacob. What Jacob received, Jabez wanted. What others receive, you can have it if you ask in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As you draw closer, his hand will be revealed to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He will keep you from the evil one, the demons, the devils, the powers of darkness will not take advantage of you because of your birth, because of what your mother went through. This day, there is a change as you pray. He says, Lord, Bless me indeed, and bless me God, against the will of my enemies. Your pain, your embarrassment will fade away. Keep on praying. May the best of you be revealed. May you be blessed indeed. Pray like Jabez prayed. He's the same. Your request will be granted. Break every curse upon your life. 
You cannot walk in this life. And the journey that you are on. The struggles of life is oppressing you from birth. You can break it. Prayers can be answered. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May people be attracted to your life. May favor look for you. Something very unusual happened in the life of Jabez. The scribes, the writers, they named their town or village or city after Jabez because they've seen the chains of God inside the life of Jabez. May you experience the same. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Things can turn around. But you must pray with knowledge of the word of God. I want us to sing that song that says, everything is going to turn around for my good. disciples in John 16 23 to 24 Jesus spoke to them said my father will give you whatever you ask in my name until now you have not asked anything in my name ask you will receive and your joy will be complete you will smile again People will not understand when God moves into your life, favor will look for your address. People will change towards you because Jesus deals with the heart of men. We honor him, we glorify him, we exalt him. He's a faithful God. He's a true God. He's a miracle working God. He's an exalted God. I want to encourage saints this day. May God enlarge your territory. Wherever you might be saying, yes, Lord. May the pains you suffered come to an end today. 
May your children be rewarded by the Lord. May your prayers, may your prayer life be improved. May favor be attracted in every area of your life. May your life's testimony give other people hope. Your prayers and your traveling, what you are going through now, it is a drop in the ocean. You will rise again with a different story. Indeed, he has blessed me. He answered my prayers. My hopelessness came into hope. I glorify God. I bless the Lord. And I'm grateful to know the same God of Jabez, the same God of Jacob, is the God we serve. Don't lose hope. Don't be discouraged. Whatever has happened shall not be repeated. Situations, we bring them to the altar of prayer. God answers prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I, I, I want that song that says, He takes me from here, and He takes me there, and He takes me there. Amen. God is lifting you. a faithful God you will not always stay there at the bottom you're gonna get up to the knee level you're gonna get up to the waist level you're gonna swim in the goodness of God he will lift you up oh God is a faithful God God is a true God I don't know where you are presently I don't know what you are going through presently, but your prayers will be answered. God will change situations to make a decision. What you decide, God will do it for you. Hey, David says, we sang the song last week. I want it again here. He lifted me up from the deep, mighty clay. 
Oh, Rabasita la Bayante. He lifted me up from the deep muddy lake and departed my feet on a given way. And then yes. see the risen, I sing and I shout. For Jesus came down and he lifted me, lifted me up, lifted me up from the deep muddy lake. to lessen the pain of life. Can we pray together and say, 
Jesus, I accept thee as Lord and Savior in my life. I am a sinner. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. And thank you for an opportunity to be called a child of God. God bless you. God sustain you. God will uphold you. God will strengthen you. The Lord bless you. We serve a miracle working God. We serve a miracle working God. Working God. Yeah. 